Hi, everybody, and welcome to another installment of Align's Daily Dose of Advice, our way of bringing you valuable insights and thought leadership from business experts from around the world on various topics that will hopefully help you and your business. My name is Eugene Turk. I'm the Vice President of Business Development at Align. Uh, you can always learn more about Align at aligntoday.com. And my guest today is Jennifer Fought. Jennifer is a Scaling Up Certified Business Coach and part of the Petra Coaching Team out of Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, Jennifer has spent the last five years coaching creative business owners on how to scale their companies while simultaneously building a nationwide online learning platform for business owners herself. She has served on the leadership team for a family-owned SaaS and IT business, as well as a venture-backed healthcare company. And as an entrepreneur, she launched a graphic design business and sold her learning platform, which she grew 450% over four years. Jennifer, it's always a pleasure to speak to you. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's good to see you too. Um, obviously, uh, more and more companies, uh, we're starting to hear stories about them moving to a work from home or even more broadly, a work from anywhere policy. We've heard the news about huge companies like Facebook and Twitter and others now offering a work from anywhere benefit or policy to their employees. And I think as, uh, as this continues, we're going to see this filter down to smaller companies as well. So I was hoping that we could talk about ways to help engage our remote teams and help them keep score on the remote work that they are doing. So uh, the first question is sort of where and how do we start with getting uh, our remote teams involved and sort of uh, in the process? You know, I think um, it was a big shock for everybody to just be sent home and, and then everybody got used to working from home. And now it's like, okay, the company's pivoting, the company's rebounding, but we're all having to do it remote, right? Um, and, and the leadership team or your executive team may have just said, this is what, this is what change looks like. This is what our rebound looks like. And now we've got to get the rest of the company working remotely to follow that. So the goal here is, um, is execution and behavior change and then and driving that activity um, down through the frontline employees, you know. Um, you know, if you created that plan and you've looked at your company priorities, which if you're using a line, you totally have company priorities. Shameless plug, Eugene, right? Thank you. Yeah. Um, so, you know, choosing, choosing the, the things that you want the team to focus on and then and building a plan and a theme around it. Um, obviously, you know, uh, something that you coach and something that we help people implement is the use of KPIs, key performance indicators, and developing a theme for a quarter to sort of engage the teams. So where do those KPIs and critical numbers, sort of the leading indicators in a business, where do those numbers come from? How do companies choose the right ones to be tracking and measuring in a, in a particular time period? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so those, this critical number is a KPI that's going to drive success and, or, and change behavior every day or every week. So if you look at your first, your number one company priority, assigning a KPI or a critical number to that, that keeps your team you know, focused and on the right track as it is to executing on those priorities. Um, so choosing the right one is important. It should be something that is a leading indicator. So if you, if you have a priority that is an outcome, what is the leading indicator to help get you there? A lot of companies will use results indicators or lagging indicators like revenue or EBITDA. But a lot of times by the time we have that information, it's so historical that we don't have time to change our behavior or change the way that we're doing things. It's too late to make adjustments. Um, so those critical numbers, which are KPIs, come from what your quarterly priority is and choosing a leading indicator that drives behavior to that. Um, an example from a revenue standpoint right now might be, you know, new leads and opportunities would be a leading indicator that would drive revenue. We want to be able to drive that behavior toward the activity to bring in new leads. That makes sense. It does. And so uh, as remote employees are sort of doing this remote work and keeping track of their own KPIs, 
uh, and keeping track of their own individual priorities? How do we let the team as a whole sort of know where the company is in terms of its journey towards reaching its quarterly goals and targets? Yeah, so you want to make sure that you have, you've set the number, you've communicated that number through the use of scoreboards. Um, we always say, like, make a game out of it. Mm -hmm. Gamification is important. You have to have a finish line. So that competitive nature is what is what gonna, is going to get people motivated. And then that turns into your theme for the quarter. Um, so if you don't have that finish line, it's kind of like running a race without knowing when you're going to get to stop. <laughs> you know? I, mean, I don't know if I would watch the Olympics if I, if, you know, there wasn't a finish line to the, to the race. Right. But that's what works to keep everything organized. Um, and, and everybody has to run with no end in sight. So that theme is going to give them a common goal. The gamification of it is important. We have to make it fun. And it's also a morale booster, right? Like your team is working from home. They're under a new level of stress. Uh, some environment changes. They're not able to have the fun, like go to coffee together, eat lunch together. So making it fun, you know, why not do that along the way too? Um, so, you know, gives you a reason to host a party. And host a party. <laughs> a virtual party. A virtual yeah, party. A virtual party, right. A, a socially distanced party. Yeah. Um, so once uh, individual employees sort of know their KPIs and once the company sort of knows how well they're doing on the journey, how do you get employees and teams and even frontline employees, not just managers or the executive team, but even frontline employees to sort of align around those themes and around those quarterly priorities and know that they're actually making an impact by their remote work? Sure. So it's important to choose a KPI or critical number that everyone has access or ability to, to impact, right? So you have that line of sight from the frontline employee all the way up to that number. Um, and every single person needs to be able to see how they're contributing to that bigger goal. Um, so, you know, creating a theme, C create a team theme is, I guess, what I'm trying to say. So there are people in your organization that will jump at the chance to, to do this, and they're going to have a lot of fun doing it. So connecting it to a priority, making sure every, every employee um, is thought about, that they can participate. And then create that theme name. Um, needs to be memorable. Needs to have a, an emotional connection. Um, have that team design a visual design or motif, you know, and, and how they're going to measure and reward it. So I would say, like, have a launch event and say, this is our theme. This is what we're shooting for. We can use uh, scoreboards in the design of it to track and communicate um, how we're doing on the progress. And, you know, you can, people can have a ton of fun with this. We've seen a lot of really exciting, fun themes. Yes, we've certainly seen themes uh, from our users as well. One of them was like a superhero theme where there were different stages that were different superheroes um, and everyone really got involved and, and sort of interested in. The other thing that I, I do want to build upon uh, in terms of line of sight and aligning uh, individual employees is that, you know, part of the thing that Align does is you can build out a company priority where all of the child priorities sort of cascade from it and employees can really see how their own work and their own contribution helps achieve some larger company objective or goal, uh, particularly on a quarterly basis. Um, Jen, the question that I ask everyone that comes on the daily dose of advice, what is the number one piece of coaching advice that you are giving your coaching clients right now? You know, there, there's a lot of advice out there and this, and this is a hard one, a hard one to answer. Um, so I think for me, it's about tr transparency and clarity, especially with people who are working from home, learning how to ask really good questions. And I always say, once you, once you, they're tired of saying something, that's when they finally hear it. Right. So just, you're the chief repeating officer. Of <laughs> yeah. Just repeat, repeat, repeat. And you can use themes to, you know, to help drive those, uh, those behavior changes home. Right. And the thing is, you have to repeat a habit in order to make it a habit in, in order to make it a true habit. Um, Jen, it's always a pleasure uh, speaking with you. Thank you for your words of wisdom and advice on gamifying and making remote work a little bit more fun. Uh, for those of you that would like to learn more about Jennifer, you can do so uh, at PetraCoach.com. That's P-E-T-R-A coach.com. Again, if you'd like to learn more about Align and our software, you can go to our website at aligntoday.com. 
and we hope that you will join us uh, for our next daily dose of advice. Till then, thank you so much, and we hope that you make it a great day. Thanks, Jennifer.